Hey guys, what's up? So I just closed on this property, I just left the title company. So I'm gonna go ahead and spin the camera around and show you guys around the house. It's pretty echoey in here, but uh, give you a quick walk around. This house isn't in too bad a shape. It's just a bit outdated. Um, I'm actually gonna leave the flooring and I'm gonna have uh, Steve, who you've seen on the channel before, uh, come and clean all the tile and we'll walk our way into the kitchen here. The kitchen luckily has been updated at some point in the past probably 10-15 years so I'm gonna go ahead and leave the kitchen the way it is and just clean it up. As far as the garage it's the electrics not on yet it's uh, pitch black in here but it's just a regular garage so luckily the garage door looks new so my plans with this house is pretty much just clean up, paint in and out, and uh, put in new carpet in the bedrooms. <laughs> Less echo in here because of the carpet, but um, that's about it. We'll ditch the ceiling fans. There's no electrical up there. It's just down to the wall with an extension cord, so we'll eliminate those. The bathrooms are uh, outdated. But what we'll do to kind of spruce it up a little is these vanities, we'll paint them white. So we'll probably paint the hardware silver or get new hardware, paint those white. Luckily, this looks like it's been replaced fairly recently. The shower is in good shape. And luckily, it's not like a weird color like green or blue or pink or brown. So you don't have to glaze it. All in all, not too bad. This bathroom, same thing. We'll paint the vanity white. Toilet's newer. And we'll just leave all of this and clean it up. I'm not gonna put too much money into this house. Also new carpet in here we'll do. And just clean everything up and paint it. I'm probably even gonna leave these blinds. Um, no point in changing them. However, the ones in here are kinda long and the ones over there are pink these ones are missing so might have to do some blinds and as far as the back porch it's got that green astroturf carpet we'll rip it out and paint it and paint everything up so i'm hoping we can get this done pretty quick hopefully only a week or so it's just going to be paint inside outside new carpet and a bunch of cleaning and that's all we're going to do um, I paid a little bit more than I would like to and, and honestly six months ago to a year ago I probably wouldn't have paid this much for a house but it's slim pickings right now so having to pay a little bit more and make a little bit less is what it is I'll still take it all right to the numbers <laughs> I paid 120,000 cash for this property plus closing costs so it came out to about uh, 122 somewhere around there so as far as the fixing up and painting. I'm hoping all of that including insurance and you know water bill and all that stuff will hopefully all be about six thousand dollars or less so I'll have a total of about hundred and twenty eight thousand into it. So I plan on selling this property for hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Closing costs will be roughly seventy five hundred dollars. That'll bring me to a total of roughly hundred and thirty five thousand dollars into the house with a profit of about fifteen thousand so that's what we're looking at on this house. Should be able to get it done and up for sale in about a week, week and a half. So hopefully things go pretty quickly. So you might ask why I'm not making this place look completely brand new and, and rip everything out and it's all in the numbers. Um, there's no room. So usually on a property to flip, I try and have a twenty-five dollars to $30,000 profit range. But now the times are different and Houses are just flying off the market. I'm lowering those expectations down to 15. So we'll see how it goes with this one. If it works out, then uh, I guess I'll be buying more of them in this, you know, smaller range as far as profit. But realistically, even though it's outdated, houses like this in this area have been selling really well. And honestly, a lot of them have been selling for pretty much the top of the market even though that they were like this so I could probably almost stick this up on the market and make a little money um, just the way it is but for the little bit of 
uh, paint and this and that, it's totally worth doing to get a little bit of extra money out of the property. Even as something as simple as a door handle, I would normally replace, but because the profit margins are so thin, um, we're just going to take it easy on this one, do paint, flooring, and clean up, and that's pretty much it. And we'll see how it does. If you guys don't mind, leave me some feedback in the comment section below. Are these kind of videos boring? Usually when I see people do real estate videos, they're talking in front of a whiteboard and they're giving you all the numbers, but you never really see anything. So that's why I kind of take you guys into my deals so you can actually see them. I don't show you all of them, but I bring you into some of them. And uh, if you guys find it interesting, leave it down in the comment section below. If you guys have any questions, let me know and I'll try and get back to you. Please don't forget to subscribe. It's free to do so. It'll help my channel grow and I'd greatly appreciate it. Alright guys, so after a few weeks the house is complete, I'm going to go ahead and spin the camera around and show you guys what it looks like. Like I said in the last video, we were mainly just going to do paint and clean up. So we've got new paint on the walls, the tile has been cleaned uh, by Steve, which turned out really good. The grout looks a lot cleaner. The kitchen is pretty much the same. Um, other than changing out the hardware on the cabinets and cleaning this up and also replacing that blind but overall it's pretty much the same and did some knockdown texture on the ceiling for the back porch uh, we ripped out the astroturf the green carpeting just put down some gray paint cleaned it up a little bit, mowed the grass in the back, not really a whole lot back there has changed, but it does look much better. Um, also textured the ceiling in there. The blinds have been changed, at least the uh, colored slats, so now they're white instead of pink, as well as over here, so saved a few bucks doing that instead of having to completely replace them. Make our way into the master bedroom, obviously new carpet, no more uh, you know, ceiling fan hanging there that was plugged into the wall. These were long, they've been replaced with shorter ones that are white, so it looks nice and new. Um, just paint throughout one of the closets. Another closet over here, same kind of layout. Just goes in the opposite way. And here's the bathroom. So, like we said in the other video, painted the cabinets and painted the hardware silver and just put up a curtain rod and a curtain nothing too uh, fancy on to the other bathroom so in this bathroom same thing uh, just re-caulked and then painted these white as well as the hardware shower curtain and rod that's about it kept it pretty simple Painted the doors, these used to be brown. The uh, second bedroom, just new carpet. Um, uh, new blinds, I think these were replaced, but I think these were short originally, but just had to replace them with uh, new fresh white ones. Closet, all painted. This is like a go-through closet. Goes through both sides, kind of neat. Garage, just got uh, new paint. And then we also did new sod outside as well as mulch and uh, my wife's just watering the grass at the well pump running so we're not having to pay for a water bill on that just did mulch up here and cleaned it up and obviously paint outside and we also which you probably can't really see on camera too well we had the roof cleaned which was worth every penny so just after a few weeks of owning this house we listed it for sale we listed it a little higher uh, than we originally expected to list it and we actually got three full price offers within the first couple of days of listing. Now that sounds great, however those three offers were FHA offers and because of that FHA loans require that the person selling the property has at least owned the property for 90 days. As you could imagine with most flips 
you're not going to own the property very long. So we ran into an issue with that and we would have had to have waited about two, two and a half months to close, which isn't a huge issue, but for a buyer wanting to move in right away, it kind of is. Because of that, we ended up taking the fourth offer, which happened to be a cash offer and they were willing to close in a couple weeks. So it worked out well. We did take less money as a result of it, but overall it's nice to just get in and out. So that means I'll be into this house ownership wise a total of five weeks. Like I said, because of that, we took a lower amount and that amount was $155,000. So it's still 5,000 over what we originally planned on selling the house for, but it would have been nice to get that 10 or 15,000 extra with those other three offers. I'm not gonna beat myself up over it too much. It's still a good profit margin. We should still clear about 15 to $17,000 for only five weeks worth of work. With all that being said, I had about 130,000 tied up in this house for five weeks with a $17,000 profit. So that is about a 13% return on my money and I can't really complain about that. As you can see, you don't have to dump a ton of money into a house to make a profit. So we mainly just did some carpet, paint, and cleanup, and we were still able to make a 13% return on this property in a super hot market where it's very, very hard to find properties with any bit of margin to make a profit on. As I said in the last video, I try and go for a higher profit margin but because of the way things are right now and how stuff is just flying off the market and people are getting top dollar for everything, I'm gonna have to take what I can get and I'm completely happy with this amount and I'll try and find another one just like it. Now I did think about renting this property out instead of flipping it. However, I'd rather get a smaller property that I can get more per square foot when I sell it and also so it's cheaper to rehab if anything needs to be rehabbed in the future when the tenant moves out. Also with those smaller houses, they are flying off the market right now because it's the only affordable house people can buy because all the houses contractors are building right now are super expensive. They're all more luxury based and they're not really building these small houses anymore. If you guys wanna see a video on how I determine whether I'm gonna flip a property or keep it and rent it out, go ahead and leave a comment down below and if I get enough people interested, I'll go ahead and put out that type of video. So if you guys wanna make more money Make sure you hit that like button and comment down below if you want to see more financial or real estate related videos. Just let me know and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.